Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. And tonight we're gonna to be talking about how many carbs to eat if you're in perimenopause or menopause. Um, this is a question I got recently, actually a question I got quite a few times. So I wanted to do an entire video on it to cover it because one of the most common things women in perimenopause or menopause or you know, say you've had a hysterectomy, something like that, you get really concerned with how many carbs should I eat? Um, should I be eating one type of carb versus another? Is this on a regular basis? What if I'm training for something, right? How do I navigate this? And there's really not a lot of great information out there for women to follow. Most of the time what you're gonna see is don't eat carbs, it's so bad for you. And that's not really the case. The female body needs carbs. And when your hormones shift and change, you do need a different amount of it, but you should still have a certain amount of it. So that's what we're gonna go through today. Now, you will learn more information like this in the 12-week challenge as well as get the specific guide that is built for the female body, right? So you can go through things like carb cycling, right? Intermittent fasting for women, eat for your hormones, all that stuff is in the 12-week challenge. So if you're not on the wait list, I'm gonna put a link, oh, right here, um, right there, there it is, to get on the wait list for the next 12-week challenge. So our registration opens for uh, for this wait list. The registration link is only sent to the wait list, December 18th, right? And we usually sell out within about 24 hours from there. So you do not want to miss out on this. Um, Dr. Victoria and I work very closely with every single woman in this group. And you know, that's why we can only take so many people, right? Um, so again, if this is really helpful for you, this is just like a drop in the bucket for the information, the knowledge, and the guidance that you're going to receive in the 12 week challenge. So carbs for menopause, right? Uh, if you also have a specific question for you, you know, don't hesitate to reach out to me. But um, when we look at carbs for menopause, a couple of things here is that there's different types of carbs. They're going to be simple and complex, right? Not all carbs are created equal. So you have simple and complex. Simple is going to be things like fruit, right? Complex are going to be things like grains, potatoes, things like that, like the carby carbs, heartier things, um, and or any other sugars is, is fruit, right? Wine, <laughs> simple carb. Um, and essentially you should be getting a good balance of those things. So about 50% simple and about 50% complex, right? Can it be varied from that? Sure, but in general, getting a blend of carbs is excellent. A lot of times women get afraid of eating fruit. I'm scared to eat fruit. I don't wanna eat fruit. That's gonna make me fat. Uh, no, <laughs> getting a blend of carbs is really, really helpful. Um, and that's, so that's why I listed out 50-50 there. Um, Grams, how many grams should I get per day? If I'm tracking my macros, what should I get per day on a regular basis? Well, this can change, right? Um, depending on where you're at for your hormone levels, where you're at for your stress levels, what your activity level is, and if you're going through a carb cycle. So in general, uh, a low end, a really low end would be about 70 grams of carb, that's pretty low, right? And things that you're counting are these types of carbs. I know if you look at like a bag of spinach, it'll say, oh, four gram of carb on there. <sighs> It's leaves, it's spinach. It is not like carb for your body. They're counting fiber there. So I, I don't count those. <laughs> but getting at least 70 grams a day is helpful and that's a lower end. Higher end is gonna be 170 grams a day of carb. Again, making sure you're getting enough protein and healthy fats first. That's number one and number two for women in perimenopause and menopause. Proteins and fats first. And then for the carbs, again, this is a range per day. 70 up to 170. How do I know which one is right for me or where should I fall in there? It, it depends. It's hard for me to make like a recommendation. You should get 110 grams of carb a day every day, blah, blah, blah. No, you shouldn't. If your system is under more stress, you need a different amount of carb, right? If you're not sleeping well, you need a different amount of carb. Yeah, that's how your body can actually function better by shifting and changing your nutrition to what's going on with your body. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're looking at um, grams of carb per day and you're like, okay, how do I split this up though? Is there a certain time of day that I should be eating this? Yes, there is. So this is really, really helpful. So say you're getting at least 100 grams of carb a day, you should be getting about 40% in the morning, 40% around midday, and about at least 20% at night. So you're sort of top loading your day with the carb, right? So filling out your evening meal, does this mean that you don't eat as much at night? No, it means that you're making sure you're getting enough protein and healthy fats at night. But that would mean that if you're getting 100 grams a day, 40 grams for break with your breakfast, 40 grams with your lunch, and 20 grams with your dinner. That seems reasonable, right? Like, that's easy to do. 
Remember, you're not gonna do that every single day. You always want to alter your nutrition week to week to shift and change it to help boost your metabolism. Again, these are things that we do in the 12 week challenge. I teach you how to carb cycle for the female body. I teach you how to go through patterns that are actually gonna help rev your metabolism and teach your system how to burn carb more efficiently. When your hormones shift and change, when your body goes through menopause, your body changes how it processes carb and it has to relearn that process. Super fun, right? Mm, I know, yay! I know, it's not the, sometimes people are like, really, this is what happens for my body? I know, I know, but knowing that, all you have to do is change these things and then you can get on track to have a completely different result. Yes. So, um, for those of you that are watching this, um, watching the replay of this um, or watching it you know, on YouTube, make sure that you are getting on the wait list, again, because if you want more help with this, this is, this is the place to get it. Other resources I have for you are my book, The Female Fat Solution, and then The Female Menopause Solution. Those are both on Amazon. I have a podcast, which is called The Female Health Solution, and then my YouTube channel is just called Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that to stay updated on everything that I have coming out. So. That's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you have more questions on carbs or carb cycling, or you're like, wait, you said fasting for women in menopause. How do I do that? Drop a comment below. Um, or if you have something more specific you want me to do a video on, let me know because I'm more than happy to give you guys more information on that. All right, that's what I got for you tonight. Have a great rest of your night and I will see you guys later.